How's it going stars? This is Space here and for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make any team surrender in Paragon under the 20 minute mark. So first of course you have to have a 5 stack. You have to have 4 other teammates playing with you because you already know the people that you solo queue with if you play by yourself your other teammates you can't trust them like you like you don't know if they're bad like usually they end up being bad but another thing is that your teammates though your other four people that you play with they can't be as bad as the people if you play by yourself like they have to know that junk that iggy cannot freaking be a carry or a support iggy cannot be picked in general and another thing is i, I don't know i can't even be saying this that phase cannot jungle like i can't believe i'm saying this but phase cannot jungle like that's not a thing like who would even try that like i can't believe i'm even saying this but don't even if your five stack even goes near jungling phase just run away from him like don't be friends block him don't even think about playing with this guy so now that you know you have a good team they're not dumb the next thing you need is a good carry in this match the carry was me yours truly i'm the best carry out there like what the carry needs to do is he has to know when to attack and when to help out the team because you're pretty much going to be the best dam like the most damage dealer in the game so right here i'm coming up and look at that do you think they would have gotten the kill if it wasn't for me no obviously not like if it wasn't for me if i didn't come there and help him out she would have for sure ran away like come on so yeah he needs to know when to rotate and the next thing is is that you cannot miss if you miss while you're being a carry you're just gonna mess up the whole team fight and it might turn out like against you they might win the team fight so yeah usually i never miss i rarely i rarely miss so that's why i'm a pretty good carry and the next thing you need is that after you have a good carry is a good jungler a jungler is a very important role it's one of the most important roles out there so right here just like that if you're a jungler you have to know when to help out your team you have to gank Especially early on, you have to help out with the offlaner and then always gank through the whole game. So now that you have a good carry and a good jungler, the next thing you need is a good support. So the support, you already know, he most of the time has to stay with the carry. Because you know the carry is going to be vulnerable if he's not with the support. So the, the support, he needs to know when to pull the carry or anyone in the team, when to slow down, when to stun. And the carry and the support, they need to have good chemistry. They need to know when the, the support is going to alt so the carry could go in and attack. They just need to know, they need to communicate. And the carry, I mean the support has to always try to save the carry's life. Maybe even risk her own life to save the support. So yeah. Now you have a good jungler, a good support, and a good carry. The next thing you need is a good offlaner. The offlaner doesn't have that much to do, especially early on. All he needs to do is just stay in his lane, protect his tower, and he needs to just keep it alive as long as he can. And I think the ideal like time to keep it alive is, let's say, the 10 minute mark. I think that's a pretty good time, you know, around that time. Oh, I mean, I guess the 550 mark is good enough too, I guess. I mean, why not? So now almost your whole team is good. The last person that you need to know that has to be good is your mid laner. Early on, he doesn't have that much to do other than go like for the river camps and stuff like that. But for the mid game, later game, he has to gank as well. He has to help out the team. In team fights, he's going to be very helpful. He needs to know when to rotate, when to help the off laner or the mid, uh, right lane. You know, he needs to do a lot of damage. And in team fights, he's going to be very helpful. To like clear out the enemy team and of course your support is there your carry is there and that's really all you need easy kills left and right everyone's gonna be helpful your jungler is gonna help you your offlaner is gonna help you your team's unstoppable and you're just gonna destroy everyone's life and of course while you guys are in team fights your offlaner has to be split pushing and taking the enemy towers while you guys are in team fights and if you're doing that, if you're in team fights, your whole team, and your offlaner split pushing, that's pretty much game over. Like, what else do you need? That's still a perfect team. And if you have all that, guess what's going to happen? You're going to make the enemy team surrender under the 20 minute mark. Just like that. We just destroyed them. So yeah, all you need to do is follow those few rules, and then you'll make anyone surrender under the 20 minute mark. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. It's delicious.